Hello everyone, welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. And today we are going to continue our examination of making your editing really fast. So we are gonna come over here into the world of Capture One, and we are going to examine using style brushes to make your editing faster. First, we need to know how to make a style brush. Very simple. We're going to open up the layers and masking tool just right there, and we're going to create a new brush uh, mask. So we just make sure to create a new uh, layer with a brush. Now I'm going to come over, right click to change the brush settings. We're going to make one for added saturation. Let's say I'm going to set the size relatively big for this effect. Take the hardness down because I want to feather it. And when you make a style brush, we want the flow very low, somewhere between 3 and 10. For this one, I am going to leave auto masking turned on. Auto masking finds edges. Before uh, the AI was built into the brush settings to find subjects, it was the way that we actually masked individual subjects not that long ago. And now I'm just going to come over here and I'm just going to brush anywhere to actually add a mask. Press M for mask to be able to see it. So there is my mask and inside of that mask I want to add saturation. All right, so I can take the mask off and on to see it. Press M so that I don't see the overlay of it. There it is. Now, that is just me brushing an effect in. But I don't yet have a saved style brush, but that's easy to create. I can right click the actual mask and I can save as a style brush. And we're going to look at the adjustment clipboard. I want the brush settings to be saved because I set those for the effect and it's just the saturation. If I had done other edits, I could remove those from the brush and I could save this as add saturation. Uh, oops, satur. Asian. Great, and save it as a style brush. It will default to the right place. So I like to keep my style brushes. We're going to go ahead and take this layer and remove it. And we're going to come over here, and this is my style tool tab. And I like to have style brushes right here. And inside of it, we're going to find custom style brushes. Inside is going to be add saturation. So I can click on that and brush in the effect. But we're not done making this fast yet. This adds in the actual layer and it adds it in using the name of the brush. But we're not done making this fast. Let's actually make added saturation really fast. And we're gonna do this by coming up here to edit and then edit keyboard shortcuts. We're gonna come over to custom shortcuts. Here we're able to create a keyboard shortcut to open up a style or a style brush. So I have one through six already uh, indicated here, but I'm going to add a new shortcut command. And there's only four real options, applying a style, applying a style brush, and opening with or editing with another soft software, which we're going to ignore. I want to apply a style brush, but remember, if you have favorite styles, you can apply them here as well. Edit a style brush. Which one do I want? Well, I know it's a custom style I made called added saturation. And we're gonna come here and just click Command 7. Command 7 hasn't been taken yet, and so I know it's gonna be fine. Now, if I was to type in Command 4, right? Command 4, it gives me a warning that, hey, this is being used by something else, and it will remove that from that keyboard shortcut from a previous thing, so pay attention to that. But if I don't get any warning, Command 7 is good, and I can close. Now, let's come over here, and under Style Brushes, it says Add Saturation is Command 7. Well, I'm going to turn that off, pop this back in, so that nothing is really going on. Change my cursor tool. And I'm looking here. I'm just going to hit on the keyboard, Command 7. I can now start brushing in added saturation. And look over here, it's added saturation. So as long as I know my favorite style brushes and I have a keyboard shortcut for them, I can immediately begin using them. I don't even need to be in any given tool tab. It will create the layer and automatically apply the effect. And of course, I could come here, the brush is the way that I had previously set it, but I'd be able to readjust it in any way that I saw fit. All right, so that's another way of speeding up your edits. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.